the show. It's nice to meet you today. Uh, can you tell us a bit about yourself and what you do? Um, well, yeah, my name's Michelle. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter, an actress and spoken word poet. Um, I just sing, really. Um, I'm, at the moment I'm at university studying arts and festival management because I want to get um, the insight of behind the scenes in the music industry. And that. Um, at the moment I'm on the A1 Houses Foundation project, so that's exciting because I've been, so I get to visit like Island Records and the big labels and meet big people. Um, yeah, but yeah, I just, you know, just try, and try my best as an artist, go to studio, writing songs, and, you know, trying to get out there, really. So how long have you been doing it for then? Well, I've been singing, well, I've been singing since I was four years old. I've been performing. Well, I've kind of took my music seriously from, I think, February this year. Um, yes, yeah, so it's been a big leap because I've not really taken it seriously and then got all these opportunities. It's been crazy, crazy. So, um, what, in terms of your ability, what, what do you think your strengths are? Um, well, I'm singing, or in general? Um, in terms of what you can offer to the project, not just in terms of singing, like? What I could offer is basically myself, like, for example, I just try my best to do as I can to offer you guys what I can in anything. If you ask me to do anything, I'll try and give my input, my opinion. Um, I'm very hard working and I'm always determined to do anything. I just want to succeed as any individual wants to, do, wants to really. Um, that kind of sums it up really, I just try my best to just do me. Okay. What would you say are your weaknesses then? Not not taking the time to stop. I'm always doing stuff, I'm always doing, like always on the go, on, always on the, like, I never stop to actually have a rest or stop to say, no, show you need to sit down and chill out. I'm always going because I'm always thinking there's an opportunity, I need to take it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. So, who do you think inspired you um, personally and professionally? Um, I would say my mum, my family really, because my mum, she's a singer as well. My granddad, he's a record player. So I've always been brought up around music. Um, professionally, I'll have to say my old music teacher called Mr Skinner. Um, he. I was brought up in a classical background, um, so I was opera music, everything, um, and he inspired me because he taught me how to engage the two, from classical to R&B and stuff like that, and kind of pushed me to know my strengths as a singer, know my weaknesses as a singer, sort of thing, and kind of opened doors to different types of music, which was exciting. Tell us a bit about like your first memory of music, like when you was a kid. What's the first thing you remember when it comes to music? Um, <laughs> this is so funny. I just remember sitting in my mum's room with my mum and my auntie, and they're singing, recording something, recording a song. I just remember listening, listening, and then I'm like, Mum, I want to go to my aunt's house. That's why I just remember just saying that. That was my, my distinctive memory of singing. But my biggest memory of singing would just have to be in the choir at set primary school. And just being lead singer or singing, I think it was um, Silent Night. No. Yeah. So, um, was that your first performance then? Yeah, first solo performance ever. Usually as in the choir, you know, you can just blend in with other people. But yeah. um, this is my first solo performance and that was scary. Very scary. So let's speak a bit about the project then. Um, in terms of the project, what do you understand about it, and uh, is there any genres that you're not like fond of? Or? I'm open. To, I'm literally open to any genre. The only genre that I personally think that will not combine with myself would be anything between the rock music. Yeah, rock music really, because I don't think I could adapt to that genre. I can learn from it. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I don't think I'd be able to work with that. Rock is a 
is a big genre though. There's loads of little subgenres in that. So is there yeah. any like are you talking about metal? Or yeah, metal. About... Like you know, hard banging like <laughs> like goth like. Yeah, you know, of course. That yeah. type of rock. I would make anything else. I'm open towards it. Um, literally, I'm open to anything but that head banging gothic music. <laughs> Um, so yeah, tell us about, in terms of, um, who have you collaborated with? Oh, uh, recently I've just collaborated with um, a singer called Shani, um, he's a soul singer, um, oh amazing, this is amazing, um, that was, that's exciting, but nothing, no, nothing really controversial to my own self really, I would love to collaborate with someone different, you know, someone out the box. Mm just different, like something you would never hear of. I, I love different, so it'd be fun to do that. Give an example of different then. Um, someone who sings opera, that'd be so cool. Um, someone who is a, I don't know, a beatboxer. Um, someone who does poetry, because I also do poetry, but I've never worked with someone who so is solely on poetry, so their vocabulary would be stronger than mine. Um, a female rapper, That'd be cool. Um, you know, just, just anything different, really. It's interesting because you work with female rappers. That's the yeah. thing. That is the so thing. I've, I'm, I'm around female rappers a lot, and it's just weird because I can't collaborate, really collaborate with them because they're on their own path. Yeah, Doesn't make yeah. that the right sense. But I would love to collaborate with someone, but because they're my friends, you can't really. You just your support. Yeah, yeah. You're not really about to. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So what have you just have you always wanted to ask them? Yeah, no. So, the thing is, it's weird because I'm just like, oh, for example, I know a lot of female rappers. Um, I'll give you an example, S J Solis. She's a she's a really good rapper. She's coming upcoming as well. Um, there's numerous times I was like, yeah, let's jump on each other's tracks, but you just never get to that point. Do you understand? Because. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? You just never get there because we're friends and you're doing your own thing and it's, when we talk it's either like, well, go on, how's your day? Do you understand? On the friend zone <laughs> level. Whereas if it's someone I totally don't know, it'd be easier to collaborate with them. Does that make sense? Because yeah, we're not friends, we're, that, yeah. we're sort of artists. Like, yeah, definitely. So um, what have you um, learnt from um, working with all these sorts of people? Like Island uh, Records and the um, artists you've been. I've learned that one, you have to have, you have to be t solid on what you're doing. You have to know your stuff. You have to be committed. You have to sacrifice, and you have to work extremely hard. Um, I was with, oh, please don't get his name wrong, Darkus. He's the president of Island Records. I was with him yesterday, and he said, um, he was like, as an artist, he what he looks for is someone different. Don't just base your image, don't just be an image title. Do you understand? It's your music that speaks for you. Yeah. Um, and what I've learned from this project is the fact that, yeah, just be different and just work hard. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. And you don't have to have that fan base. You don't have to have that popularity to get signed. Alec, mm -hmm. he's a member of, um, he works at Island Records. He's the head to top of Island Records. He said to us that how, there's, he just signed Nick Brewer. He never really had a fan base, but he had songs that was rated so much that he got signed. So it's, it's, it's possible, but it's not what the media portray it to be. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I totally get that. Um, so what sort of uh, experiences have you dealt with that have sort of uh, got you to this point in your life? People doubting me. I'm just be real. I'm real. Yeah. I'm straight yeah. up. People doubting me. People telling me I can't do anything. Can't do it. Even artists that are my friends, because they're I'm not gonna name their names because they're more not established, but because they got the material right. Because they've got the the merchandise and whatnot, they think oh I'm the be I'm better than them. So that kind of pushed me because I'm like okay cool. I'm not gonna use that as a weakness. I'm gonna use that to push myself. Um, just to struggle and hustle like everyone, uh, everyone's in really, you know, just the, the mentality of wanting to succeed and it is a competition, I've, 
it's just recently I've learnt that it's not it's a competition. I've been helping all these people who are in the same game as me, thinking that oh we can make it together, but really they're against me. They're not with me. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, um, I think um, we're just gonna cut it there. Uh, it was nice speaking to you today, the show. Um, uh, it's time for. Do you, do you want to perform for us? Hi, I'm Michelle. Um, I'm 19 and I'm supporting Wild Card. We might not have all the answers. Oh, I know that we can change some other things that are beyond our control. And the vision of us may be blurry, but you use your heart to see. Just follow that beat, the rhythm will lead you right back.